Hey guys, so we just arrived to one of my old friends' house and we are going to be loading up a table set that she has gifted to me and I am so appreciative of this table set that she's gifted to me. So we're gonna get this loaded up and then we'll head back home and hopefully we'll get started on it pretty soon here within the next couple of days. So let's get this loaded. Before we start on the table set we're going to be using for this space, I wanted to show you what the dining room looked like. This is what we're starting with, not much and pretty basic. As you saw in the beginning, I received this table set way back in January of this year and here I started on the chairs back in March, so it's been quite the process. I wanted to modernize the chair, so after cleaning them, I gave them three coats of black Dixie Belle paint in the color Caviar. I did not sand or prime prior to painting. I'm going to be making a simple accent wall with vertical boards. I have textured walls and didn't want to cover up the texture with boards so I will be only be adding the battens to the wall. To achieve that I picked up some 1x4s for the top and bottom trim or baseboards and some 1x3s for the rest. To start, I removed the bottom baseboards and trimmed out the baseboards that would be sitting adjacent to the new ones so that they could slide and fit in perfectly. I moved on to measuring and cutting my boards for what would be my baseboards using a 45 degree miter cut to join the two pieces. To attach them to the wall, I used liquid nails intended for sheetrock and wood trim and secured them with 2.5 inch brad nails. I repeated the same steps for the top as well and once the top and bottom trim were attached, I measured and placed two 1x3s on each side of the wall flush with the adjacent wall. After getting some assistance from my manager to mark my stud placements, I evenly spaced out the remaining boards and secured them the same way. To get a really good clean and finished look, I caulked every single board which by the way can be pretty time consuming but very well worth it. Then I filled all of my nail holes and where my boards met with wood filler.
Okay, so I'm just waiting on the wood filler to dry so I can start sanding that um, so we can start painting. I did pick up a couple of samples from Home Depot and I'm gonna go ahead and put my samples on the wall. As you guys can see, I miscalculated and so I'm missing one board that I need to put on here and then I'll be completely done with the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching them on the wall. After deciding on the middle color there on the wall, I went back to Home Depot and picked up the full gallon. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that it was not the same color as the original sample and so I made a second trip and the color still did not match. I finally just went with the last color they gave me because I did not want to deal with it and yet another trip to possibly get it right. I did remove and paint the outlet covers, but did not paint the actual outlets. To seal the chairs I had already painted months back, I used the Verithane wax in a natural finish. I removed the old cushion and fabric and replaced it all. I used the old fabric as an outline to cut the new foam and also the new fabric. I used staples to secure the fabric to the chairs and just like the original I applied some frame edging with hot glue to conceal the staples. It was finally time to remove the old curtain and curtain rod and I used the rip butt curtains from Ikea which are really affordable and great quality. After giving the floor a good cleaning with my mop vac, I brought out the rug.
This buffet is actually a record player slash radio that I picked up from a local auction for only a dollar. It was in such great shape that I did not want to paint it, so all I did was clean it up. I took the same approach for the table and only cleaned it up really well. Now that the majority of the makeover is done, let's remember what this dining room used to look like. And what it looks like now. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads and I will see y'all next week. Bye.